Now you might be looking at this image going, how can this be a summary of the endomembrane system? Uh, it looks very complex. Well, there's a lot of things going on. I'm going to attempt to kind of go over the main points. So you're going to see a theme here. We start in the nucleus and we kind of work our way through the rough and smooth ER. We have transport vesicles that then go to the Golgi, ultimately forming these vesicles that will then leave uh, the cell in this example here or enter the cell uh, in this regards where we're having enzymes break some of those things down. So this whole system is just a way that the nucleus containing its DNA can help regulate process for things being secreted from the cell or things being broken down that enter the cell. So let's now look into a little more detail. Well, again, here's that nucleus starting there. We have our rough ER forming those vesicles going to our Golgi and going to the cell membrane. This is a very simplified version of what we just saw in the previous image. Here's a little bit more complex with all the kind of the parts labeled and kind of broken down. We have our nuclear membrane, we have our pores, remember those are regulated, we have our rough ER, our smooth ER, uh, we have these kind of vesicles being attached, uh, these vesicles being released and being kind of going through this modification process through the Golgi, which is located in this region. We have things entering on one side of the Golgi, exiting out the other, uh, and ultimately going to come in contact in this case with the cell membrane, and then going to be secreted outside to the exterior environment. So again, just kind of gives you a little bit of a breakdown of the different components involved with this process. Now the ER and the Golgi are going to be two years we're going to spend a little time with. Uh, this is a modification of proteins and lipids as well. Here's our nucleus, here's our rough ER, and then here's our Golgi. Uh, this is going to receive vesicles from the ER and the cis or inner face. So the Golgi is going to receive those transport vesicles from our rough ER and the cis face here. Then we have some uh, carb carbohydrates being added and taking place. We have this kind of packaging and processing uh, of these vesicles and prepares them for shipment out to vesicles and other trans or outer um, face here. So we kind of have this kind of process here, which I won't go into the great detail, this Golgi where it's packaging and processing these proteins. These vesicles ultimately containing the processed proteins will bud off and in this example are going to the, be attached to the exterior of the cell on the plasma membrane. So the Golgi apparatus is a series of flattened membrane components called cisternae or sacs. Um, this cis is the near the ER and fuses with the ER vesicles. Remember, ER is referring to endoplasmic reticulum. The medial is the middle components, and then the trans is where it buds off. So in this example, the nucleus would be about where I'm located, and then it'd enter the cis phase, go through its modification, and then exit out the trans phase here. Now the summary of the Golgi, again, the shipping and receiving center uh, for cellular products. Many transport vesicles from the ER travel to the Golgi apparatus for a modification. It's the center of manufacture, storing, and shipping. These flattened membrane sacs uh, look like a pack of uh, like pita bread. It's a very high surface area to volume ratio. The Golgi stores and packages materials for transport vesicles to be released uh, outside of the cell or to kind of move to a different location. The Golgi apparatus itself uh, in action here. We can kind of see the um, budding off and in this case kind of the exiting out of the cell or here we're kind of having this receiving end here, uh, this binding or this membrane kind of binding that's occurring as well. So again, many different uh, end results but the same basic process where we're having this kind of budding off and this kind of vesicles formed for transportation. Now we also have li lysosomes, which are vesicles containing digestive enzymes that break down food and foreign particles. They're membrane-bound vesicles, uh, but they're not found in plants. They are produced by the Golgi apparatus, and they contain powerful digestive enzymes that are highly acidic. So if we think about acidic, we think about our lemons being very acidic. It's helping the breakdown process, the digestion of large molecules into smaller ones, or breaking down or recycling cellular resources. Apoptosis, programmed cell death, is like a tadpole losing its tail, also kind of involved with this um, process. Um, there's some genetic diseases with lysosomes, Tay-Sachs disease in particular, is caused by a defect in lysosomal activity. So they do have more uh, components than simply just containing proteins or enzymes. This endomembrane system summary, those proteins produced in the rough ER and lipids 
uh, from the smoothie are carried to the Golgi apparatus, and then the Golgi modifies those and kind of like finalizes them, packages them into vesicles, and then allows them to carry on to their final de destination. These secretory vesicles carry out products to the membrane where exocytosis produces secretions. Lysosomes fuse with the incoming vesicles and digest those macromolecules. Now our endomembrane system, kind of that visual summary, kind of taking you back to one of those previous images that I showed you, you can see the reason why everything is kind of stacked and organized the way that it is, is to allow for efficient transportation of our DNA going to our um, proteins being made in the ribosomes on the rough ER, modified with some lipids from the smooth ER, kind of finally packaged and processed in the Golgi, released in vesicles to their final location.